The newest set of Pokemon cards, Chaldea Evolved, is finally here, and we're gonna get a first look at it with an early booster box opening. Also, I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the time this channel hits three years, which is August 17th. So help me get there by hitting that sub button and like button. So let's crack this thing open. As you can see here, the booster box looks really, really nice. And let's jump into this thing, get it open real nice, uh, which of course I want to struggle with. And let's jump into this first pack. We'll have the Quackleva pack. Now in this set, it actually has some really cool cards, some awesome character rares. And then it has a full art Iona, which a lot of people are chasing, but Let's take a look at this. I haven't spoiled too much. We have the really nice Pikachu art, Krogunk Aruka D, a Giacomo, a Mistrevious, Calamitous Wasteland, and an Oricorio, which is like a really cool shine. I do like that a lot. So far we have played in the pre-release tournament for this set, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I pulled actually a couple of good character rares. We did um, pull one that I was chasing. We have a Giacomo, a Heracross, Therapeutic Energy, and a boss's orders which is actually a really nice boss's orders a lot of people are really liking this art but yeah so we pulled the paldean whooper which was super cool i love that pokemon i did do a challenge uh where i was catching pokemon within the first 30 minutes of the game when it first came out and that pokemon as soon as i caught it went right into my party got a jigglypuff which is cool a heracross a murkrow pupitar and a gyarados which is again really really cool but no hit so far if you have opened up this set yet definitely let me know in the comments what you have gotten because this set is Pretty hype, a Palmet, ooh, and an Annihilate EX Full Art, which has a really cool coloring to it. There we go, we got the Meowskareta pack, which is super cool. Um, I actually didn't catch the pseudo legendaries in this game. Uh, I still have to do that. So I don't know the names of them off the top of my head, but I'm excited to see it uh, in this set. Vespaquin, a Ruka D, and then a Bombus now. I'm pretty sure that the most sought after cards are the Grusha character rare and the Iono, which speaking of which, we just got it right now, uh, has an alternate art full art trainer. Uh, and the full art itself is very nice too, a Glamora. But that Iono is very, very good, or it's going to be very good in the TCG because it disrupts your opponent's hand, which is always like a very nifty technique to have. Uh, there it is again. We actually are pulling a couple of them so I can use them in a deck, a Mankey, and a Skeldridge EX. That is a super nice card. I don't actually do booster boxes all that often on this channel, just because I try to do more uh, creative content rather than just straight up openings, which uh, not that you can't be creative doing booster box openings, uh, but I just get a little bit more fulfillment doing like vlog types. A Raichu, this reverse like pattern that they've been doing is super cool and a Luxray. I also wanted to do this outside because I did show you all that I did redo my deck and haven't done a video out here since a Veluza, but I've been working on some other projects. So my normal setup is actually uh, kind of in distress right now. Sandy Guest and a Hariyama. Let me know in the comments too what you think of this set. Uh, the next set that's coming out is supposed to be really, really hype. Um, it does have a nice gold Charizard that's rumored to be coming out during it. A Squawkabilly EX character rare, which is so nice. That's so cool. I like that a lot. One thing too about filming outside, at least in my neighborhood, uh, you won't catch me, you know, screaming my head off over a pole. I like it to be like a little bit more calming. I don't know. I, I think that there's different aspects to opening. Oh, a nice Tropius character rare. And this Orthworm. This Orthworm looks like it's really, really cool in the TCG. Um, I don't know if it does enough damage output, but I think it could make for a really cool deck. But this Tropius is beautiful. Oh, a nice reversal energy. So this is actually going to be a really nice staple in the TCG, I believe. Bruh. Bruh. Let's see, hopefully this cold streak actually doesn't continue. A nice choice belt, which is a cool reprint. A Palmo, a Voltor Poppet, and a Woichain. Whoa. Woichain? Actually, again, Pokemon that I didn't actually catch in the game. I kind of just beat the game and didn't do too much post game, which I have to get back to. Um, but this is a really nice looking EX. Mankey, Delibird, Super Rod, which is a cool card. Tinkatuff, a Hydreigon, and a Boss's Orders. Let's see as we finish up the first half of this box. And this Draft Rig has actually really, really nice art, but nothing in this pack. All right, halfway done. Hopefully we can pull something great. We haven't seen anything gold yet. So hopefully we get something like that or a nice little alt art, something something fun. A Pineco, a Slacking. I'm hearing it, that Iono is calling its name right in this pack and a Luxray. So maybe she wasn't actually calling her name in that one. Here we go, a Pineco, Mankey, Delibird, Toxicroak, Townflame, Giacomo, and a Glimora. This cold streak's cold. It's freezing, it's freezing. Ooh, but a Pyroar. That art is super nice. I do like the introduction of the Illustrator Rares because I do enjoy people like actually getting hits out of boxes and a nice Skelridge EX full art. That is so cool. The way the orange background like reflects around the red on the body is super awesome. Ugh, ugh. We've had some pretty good luck recently. We actually, in our last video, we pulled the Mewtwo uh, V-Star Alt Art, Glaring Gallery, as we get a Squawkabilly EX which is a super cool card. 
Uh, I think this is our second one, unless we had the character right before it I've actually was what it was. Always cool to get a similar pull in a booster box. Well, let's get it. I see something on accident, and it is a Slowking EX, which actually Slowking is like one of my favorite Pokemon. Something about the crown and it being in the second movie uh, was super like nostalgic. I just thought it was cool having a po uh, talking Pokemon besides me out. We still haven't gotten a really good banger though. I'm really surprised. Delibird. Oh, a Skull Ridge EX. As we say that, this is actually one of the chase cards too. I really like how these Illustrator rares actually tell a story, kind of like there was a Charizard that has a set that does that, but I'm definitely a big fan. Let's get it. Just a few more packs to go to end this thing. Come on, something good. Nothing. Oh, a Luminous Energy actually looks really cool in a Reverse Hollow. Uh... Oh, all right, come on. There's gotta be something left in this. No, three packs left. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. A Dendra, Palisand, a Hariyama, and a Tinglu EX, which is a, it's definitely a pull. It's one of the pulls of all time. Also, I am trying to get to 3000 subscribers by the time this channel hits three years, which is October 17th. So let's hope that we can do that using this video to help us get there, which is a really nice Tinkatuff. I do like this character rare a lot. This is like a fan favorite Pokemon. Um, I didn't use it in my party, but it is a super cool Pokemon. The concept of it is awesome. It's like having a Looney Tunes character just beating you over the head with a hammer. All right, last pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic and just a low kicks. Definitely not a bad opening overall. We did get some really cool cards, but I appreciate you watching this video and I will catch you in the next one.